YouTube, Wolf Soul Kicks 14 back again. Getting ready to unbox these uh, Air Jordan 1 Shatter Bat Boy 3.0s. I want to go on a rant so bad, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not even going to stop and pause and all that stuff. I'm just going to talk while I unbox these shoes. Bought these from Nike.com. If you follow my Instagram, at the almighty wolf so kicks 14 uh i did a screenshot and actually went in on the nike app not the sneakers app the nike app this is crazy first of all i want to say this uh a year ago when these first hit the internet every major youtuber talked so much shit about these they were ugly they were gre greasy they were you know, just trash, just, they uh, missed the mark with this one. It should have been matte finish. Uh, why is the sole, you know, off-white and all this kind of stuff. But then up until August, everybody wanted to pair. All these YouTubers had these early pairs from Flight Club and, and it, it's like, that's what's wrong with the whole sneaker culture. Last year, they were like, these are trash, awful, basura. But now everybody's changing their tune, and then they're trying to downplay it like, oh, well, I don't know if they're gonna have a resale value. Who gives a fuck? Are we really in it to try to resell shoes, or are we in it because the shoes are dope and we wear what we like? Like, I, <laughs> you guys are so duped by these sneaker YouTubers, like, they are fooling y'all, and y'all are not seeing what they're doing. They're they're trying to control your every thought about shoes that you may not even get because of how their influence tends to influence how you feel about a shoe. Why do they help promote for free something that we should be able to wait for and just say, hey, I think those are dope, let me go grab a pair. No, these YouTubers, they get them early, they put their feet in them early, they walk around, they're telling you about a shoe being dope and they haven't really seen it yet. This shoe is fire. And as soon as I saw it last year, I said, yep, I'm gonna get them. I don't care about the whole chicken grease comments and all that kind of stuff. This is a finish. This is not patent leather. This is a finish. This is a high gloss finish. How do I know? Because I customized shoes and the first uh, Angelus Direct kit that I ever bought, it came with three different finishes. The satin finish, the matte finish, and the high gloss finish. This is an extra high gloss finish. And I don't have to keep saying how dope they are. First of all, I have them. I'm glad I have them. I have them in my size. I don't do fakes, jump man bostic voice. I don't, I don't condone fakes. I don't wanna see nobody's video about real versus fake, because I buy my shoes from the store. And if I don't get them, I just don't get them. Like, it's just crazy. Here's the bag. You see how the laces came? That's how they're supposed to look because I got them from the store. I bought them off the Nike, you know, app, you know. Instead of these weird kind of now street purchases, I don't get why people think that's that's cool. You know, why are we so they're not perfect and they came straight from the Nike factory. Um just a few minor um bits of uh, black thread that they may have made a mistake in, 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 in having too long. You probably can't see it, but uh, right here. That's probably black thread that goes along with everything up here. All right. But other than that, the shoe is definitely, I can't even take away from that. It's still a 10 out of 10 shoe. Well, I would say nine because this finish does allow you to see a lot of flaws, but but the flaws I'm talking about is not like glue stains. It's just like, when you have a high gloss, and this is just back to me talking about, you know, what I know, which is sneaker customs. When you have a high gloss, 
as soon as you're done with that shoe, any dust that's in the air, anything natural, cotton, uh, lint, it tends to cling to it. But that's nothing that you can't just dust off right quick. I don't understand why people go from the shoe is trash to, oh, I gotta have these. I think I hate this, the whole sneaker culture right now, especially on YouTube, because people don't keep the same energy. The shatter bat boards, like the very first ones, should not be the litmus test for why these are awesome. These are awesome. For the people that come to channels just to see how they look and, you know, try to be influenced on whether they should uh, buy the shoe or not. Let me make sure I cover all the stuff up that I need to cover up. What's wrong with saying I got them from Nike.com and that being enough, that should be enough for everybody. But no, you got all these different websites where you get them early and all this. That's why I'm glad that East Bay Foot Action, um, East Bay Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, all are one now, which if you're really into the shoe culture, then you know uh, they all have pretty much the same inventory. Foot Locker, Champs, uh, foot action, they all answer to East Bay anyway. So, uh, and you can just do a simple search. If you go into Champs and look for this shoe, then you go to East Bay, one will probably have, um, either they both will have them and they only have a certain size or they both will not have them whatsoever. So I'm, 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 I'm glad that what they're doing with the app and trying to help deal with the resellers and because it's just out of hand now. All these YouTubers have access to shoes like these months in advance, but they're trying to convince all these kids because they can't convince me because I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. You cannot convince me that you with 30 subs or like a hundred or even a thousand subs, you got these six months early. Stop it. You got some fake ass shoes. And we need to go back to saying no to fakes. I don't want to know about what's what's real and what's not because either you got them or you don't. That's where we need to be at now. Either you got them or you don't. It shouldn't be about having options and buying fake shoes. Why would you want to step? Why would you pay 150 for, for for a fake counterfeit item that could get you fair time, only to walk around feeling like you're walking in some shoes straight from Walmart? Why not go to Walmart and just paint you some shoes? black and orange because that's how I see it I see it as clown shit straight up you know what I'm saying again I'm just gonna keep showing these because these are real I bought them from Nike these literally came from Lebanon Indiana like come on like now they don't smell like quality air of Jordan 1 that's a bit odd um like it's crazy how these don't smell like like the, the black and red, black and blue, shadow, pine, green, court purples, you know, all that. These probably smell less um less fresh than the neutral uh gray crimson uh joints that I have not worn yet. I wanna wear it just it's just not cold yet, like Shout out to everybody who's having a true fall because it's still 80s and 90s down here. So, all in all, I can't wait to wear these. I hope the Astros win so I can really break these out. But Wolf, Astros are blue and orange. That's because you think small. You think, you think inside of the box. You think it's gonna matter that these are black and orange if the Astros win the World Series in 2019 when the last time they went to the World Series was 2017? It's not gonna make a difference because when I put this shit together, y'all gonna have a problem. 160 uh, plus tax, blah, 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 cream sole, blah, 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 orange laces, which I'm probably gonna rock them in the, I'm probably gonna go ahead and, I've actually tried to learn how to do this. I have not succeeded yet. Well, that's a lie. I did it one, one time. But whoever has to do it at the factory, 
I feel bad for them because this is extra work for no reason. The only Shattered Backboard 3.0 that doesn't have this bag should be like a grade school size. Listen to what I'm saying. If, if, if they're not grade school, they should look just like this. It's, there's nothing greater than having it in your hand straight out the store or straight from the Nike factory. All that trying to scoop this and scoop that, man. Scoop all that shit. I cannot wait to wear these. Uh, I cannot wait to wear this shoe. Like, this is... Come on. Oh, let's do the knock test for all those shoe tubers that think they know about shoes. Well, let's tap on the bottom. See, I don't have to do all those tests because my shoes are real. The bigger shoe tubers, sneaker YouTubers, content creators, I wish I, I wish they would just take a break for like six to eight months. All they're doing is trying to influence people for their own like weird gain. Like you're telling people that these are these are ugly and all that, but then you go and buy them, and then you and, and then you try to give do a free giveaway. Come on, man! Y'all can fool people like 25 and under. No, let me take that back. You may be able to fool people 20 and under, but you can't fool nobody that's been literally in the in the shoe game since 1985, fam. I was born in a pair of black and red Air Jordan 1s. So I ordered some marathon clothing in April of this year. I just received my package. So I wanna open this up in front of the entire world and, and uh, let's see. Let's see if they did everything that I asked. Hopefully I got everything that I ordered. look good so far <laughs> yep. Let's see what's happening. check check that out it's not even on the website anymore let crack this bad boy open y'all I've been waiting for this since April I've been hitting them up back and forth, back and forth. Probably not even gonna fit. It don't even matter. It's gonna, it's gonna go somewhere. <laughs> it don't even matter. I paid for it. it don't even matter. <sighs> Rock it loose just like this. This this one's a wifey, so I'm not even gonna open hers. I want her to have the pleasure of uh, opening up hers. Now I thought mine was gonna say uh, the marathon clothing, but these actually don't say that. There it is. <laughs> I've been waiting months for this. I am ecstatic. And for those who, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like he said when he was alive, you know? If they don't have that on there, it's a bootleg. And we don't do boot bootleg marathon around these parts. Tagging off. And I definitely run my lap every day. I'm gonna try it on because this is not a, a fashion channel. So shout out to them. I'm I'm glad I finally got my order after several months. Uh, I definitely want to re up. I want to get some beanies and um, maybe a hoodie. I definitely like how this looks right here. Um, may have to put some engineering on this and see what I can do to. Uh, Customize the fit of this to my um, huge cranium, but um, 
guess I'll just rock it for the duration of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Sneaker customs, sneaker reviews, it doesn't matter. Because this is a sneaker channel. Uh, this right here was special to me, but this is a sneaker channel. Uh, I'm not going to keep telling you guys what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop up. Either it'll be shoes, it'll be shoes being re repainted, remastered, shoe rants, all that kind of stuff. So, as always, stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. Deuces.